Greetings, my family in Christ. It's looking like Christmas around here. I hope it is at your house. This is the Nandina turning about as red as it will get. And it's a blessing to me. We thank you, Lord. So today's psalm is 85. We're moving along, aren't we? We'll just walk along. And this psalm is attributed to... This, this psalm is thought to have been composed by... Um, the sons of Korah, they were Levites that served in the minister musical aspect of the worship. And there is the holly tree. And it's thought to have been composed after the Jews returned from captivity in Babylon. And some parts are thought to uh, reflect the conversion of the Jews in the latter day. And I don't know if that means the latter day, as in before Jesus' return, or if it is latter day as in that time period. If it's prophecy or not, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So, let's read and see what you think. Lord, you poured out blessings on your land. You restored the fortunes of Israel. You forgave the guilt of your people. Yes, you covered all their sins. You held back your fury. You kept back your blazing anger. Now restore us again, O God of our salvation. Put aside your anger against us once more. Will you be angry with us always? Will you prolong your wrath to all generations? Won't you revive us again so your people can rejoice in you? Show us your unfailing love, Lord, and grant us your salvation. I listen carefully to what God the Lord is saying, for he speaks peace to his faithful people. But let them not return to their foolish ways. Surely his salvation is near to those who fear him, so our land will be filled with his glory. Unfailing love and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed Truth springs up from the earth, and righteousness smiles down from heaven. Yes, the Lord pours down his blessings. Our land will yield its bountiful harvest. Righteousness goes as a herald before him, preparing the way for his steps. Preparing the way for his steps. Hark the herald, angels sing. Okay. Well... I guess that is, I just don't have any thoughts today. Maybe the Lord will give me some as we walk and enjoy his colors. This yellow tree in the back is from a, you know, the Arbor Day Foundation always wants to give you trees. Um, my mom gave me this. I think it's considered a maple, but, well, it is a maple, but I'm not sure what it, which uh, species. Does that make sense? Which variety? Silver maple, maybe. I don't know, but it always turns the prettiest yellow in the fall. So I always enjoy that. And it's always uh, it's a pretty little tree. So, anyway. Well, my friends, I hope you have a blessed day and enjoy your blessings that God gave you, and thank God for them. And until tomorrow, my friends, amen.